And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Nice. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. What a stomp. Good grief. German suplex. Goldberg possesses immeasurable intensity and devastating power. We're looking at one of the strongest forces to ever step foot in a ring. But what has driven him in the most is being a superhero for his son. Right to the jaw. Oh, oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. <laughs> Appears as though Goldberg is starting to fade. You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. Byron alluded to Goldberg's motivations for his return. To millions of people around the world, Goldberg is a real-life superhero. His return was able to inspire a new generation in the WWE Universe. Even I got caught up in the whirlwind, feel-good story of Goldberg's return to WWE. The man is, in many ways, superhuman. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Devastating elbow. And it appears Goldberg is starting to hit the wall physically now. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. I'm not sure he has much left. Goldberg needs to tap into his trademark intensity and mount a comeback as soon as possible. Just a crushing blow from Goldberg. Brock Lesnar is in a real bad spot here. Just a crushing blow from Goldberg. That is exactly what Goldberg... He's a man among boys right now. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Ah, oh, Brock Lesnar, it's time, Byron. Get your T-shirts ready. Suplex City in full effect. German Suplex. Woo. But if anybody can come back from this, it has got to be Goldberg. I gotta say, watching this match, I've definitely seen similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. spine when it comes to brutality i would agree with michael cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the goldberg setting him up here it comes byron we're gonna see it we're gonna see it we're gonna see the down with the jackhammer can he finish him off here Saxton, I like you. I want to take you on an all-expenses paid vacation to Suplex City. Oh, no. I'll pass. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Talk about getting knocked into the middle of next week. You guys know what I like most about Brock Lesnar? It's that he lets his actions in the ring do the talking for him. I wish a lot more people would employ that strategy. There he goes, crashing to the floor.
Some superstars love to talk the talk, as Corey was alluding to. But with Brock Lesnar, it's as if there's no time for talking. He just wants to get in there, get the job done, and leave. Just like his shirt says, eat, sleep, conquer, repeat. Destruction just comes naturally for the Beast Incarnate. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry it all the way to F5. Bang! This one is over. He wants no part of the outside. Keep your eye on this one. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance in back-to-back -back WrestleManias. You have to go back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though both Randy Savage and Goldberg with a spear! Just a crushing blow from Goldberg. Goldberg better not waste this opportunity. He won't. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. point on volatility and the volatility of this match but what i think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this no oh, boo boo cry me a river saxton these competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose the ah brock lesnar it's time byron get your t-shirts ready suplex city in full effect Just when you thought he had nothing left. It was surreal to see Goldberg back in WWE. The energy and intensity that followed him his entire career returned to Monday Night Raw. And it brought him to Fastlane against Universal Champion Kevin Owens. Goldberg with... Oh no! Lesnar's about to end this. F5. Oh, my. But if anybody could come back from this, it has got to be Goldberg. Never say die attitude out of him. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. I want to revisit Goldberg versus Kevin Owens. It is absurd that KO had to defend his Universal Championship against Goldberg. Owens didn't have the problem. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Brace for impact, here it comes. The Beast in car with an F5! Bang! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? As by Lesnar did it! What a performance! Was there ever any doubt? That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Tough to top that one, folks. We were lucky to be here to witness a match filled with technical prowess, amazing moves, and seemingly non-stop action. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. Oh, my God. Goldberg loses. It happened when he became 173-1. and 
and it happened again tonight. I can't believe it. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.